everyone and welcome to Homiecraft episode 4. I'm a rich b now, so yeah. That's that. Alright, anyways, um you guys might not have seen this place yet. This is my industrial district. I've been working on it a little off camera. But yeah, I'm gonna keep working on it in today's episode, so let me pick up my diamonds real quick. <clears throat> Put them in my wallet. Alright. Yeah, here, let me just show you guys around. I built, I dug down to Y30. That's where I'm a, uh, that's the Y level that I'm gonna keep all my, f uh, industrial district box thingies at. But yeah, I built this little wall design, which actually took like, a few hours and I noticed that my farms are gonna cover it up anyway so yeah that was kind of a waste of time but yeah now that I started it I don't want to just take it all down so I'm gonna just build the same wall in all the font in all my boxes but yeah this kind of sucks that my farms are probably gonna cover it but yeah I got a little sugarcane farm going on here I mean I just built them so yes yeah, not much sugarcane yet but hopefully it'll be good because in 1.16 they're gonna remove zero ticking so I can't use my zero tick farm so yeah this will still be there to replace that but yeah I want to actually replicate this industrial district in all four of my boxes so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and quickly dig to Y30 in all my boxes and I'll be right back Okay, so now that I have equaled out all the boxes, they're all down to Y level 30. Now I actually want to go ahead and build up one of the walls to one of these boxes. So yeah, I'll build this box. Oh yeah, I also have to build the glass roof over it. So yeah, time lapse time. Bye. Uh -huh. 
have all the walls completely finished except for this one. I didn't add the glowstone for this one because I want to try something real quick. I want to do a challenge where I'm going to stop the flow of the water and then I'm, I'm going to try to place all the glowstone before the water completely uh, goes away. So yeah, let me put the glowstone next to my pickaxe and get started in 3, 2, 1. Okay, this isn't as hard as I thought it would be so far. I hope I'm placing these correctly. Alright, I think I did it. Is that all of them? Yeah, I think that's all of them. Alright. Yeah, the walls are completely finished now. Except for one thing. Let me quickly make a couple slabs. Alright, so... I have a question for you guys. Uh, you guys could reply in the comments. So this wall design is nice and all, but a little modification I was thinking of was adding slabs like this. Now, as you can see, that definitely looks way better, like the rhombus shape. But if I keep that shape going... Let me get up here. And right there, alright. So yeah, if I, at first it's a rhombus, but when I keep that shape going, it ends up not really being a rhombus anymore. So yeah, here, what if I do this to make them all look the same? Yeah, so now they're all like egg-shaped, kind of. So yeah, I was wondering, do you guys think this looks better without the slabs, or... The little egg shapes. Let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, let me go ahead and break these down for now. Because I don't know which looks better. So I'll just keep it at default for now. And now I want to actually go ahead and go back to this. It's my other industrial district box thingy. I don't really know what to call them. But if I go down here. Oh yeah, I did an AF overnight AFK session at my sugarcane farm, but apparently they um, they restarted the server because they were trying to fix some error, so they restarted the server, so my whole overnight AFK session was in vain because, you know, I got kicked from the server. But anyways, so if I press F3G real quick, so this chunk right here, this is actually a slime chunk, so what I want to do is... This floor that I'm on right now is the base floor, which is where I'll have most of my farms. But I'm thinking of having farms bef below this too. So, for example, um, below this, I'm thinking of having a slime farm. I might have like a gunpowder farm in another uh, industrial district box thingy. And then in another one, I might have like a general mob farm and stuff like that. But yeah. I'm going to go into a creative testing world and come up with a decent design for a one chunk slime chunk because in this server we're not we're not really allowed to like uh, check for slime chunks online like we're not allowed to have the seed so we can't check for biomes or slime chunks so yeah it's pretty hardcore but yeah I'll be streaming my uh, slime farm progress on twitch twitch.tv slash nog underscore legend you guys could go over there and check it out but yeah i'm gonna get started with that and i'll catch you guys then
Okay guys, so the slime farm is all built up. And let me walk you through how it works real quick. Well, first of all, as you can see, it's really ugly. It's not meant to be the prettiest farm since it's underground. I didn't really work on making it look good. But yeah, if someone comes down here and sees this place, they'll know they're not supposed to be down here. Because it's pretty, doesn't look good at all. Anyways. Yeah, I got these spawning platforms where the spa slimes spawn. As you can see, this is the slime chunk. And I got an extra one block gap on the sides here for there, so that there could be more space for the big slimes to spawn. And just to be safe, I made all the layers three blocks uh, between each other. Big slimes need 2.5 blocks to spawn. But for this last layer, I made it 2.5 blocks because I need to I needed to raise this by one because oops. Because uh below this was bedrock, so I couldn't really pick my I couldn't really build my item collection system under here. So yeah, I raised the farm up by one. Um But yeah, that's pretty much it, the slime spawn. Um as you can see they could see the iron golem's heads. So they get, they try to attack the iron golems, uh, end up on this magma, die, and then I have a hopper minecart system below this. If I could close these up real quick, alright, I have a hopper minecart system below the magma blocks to pick up all the drops. And yeah, I'm gonna cover this place up. These stairs were just for me to be able to work here, but now that my work there is done, I don't really need it. I need to make a more proper entrance right now, it's just a hole in the ground, but yeah, this is the entrance to my chest area, storage system. And as you can see, before I lit the place up, a lot of mobs were spawning. Oh yeah, while I was working on it, I don't know, you guys might have seen from the time lapse, but a lot of, sp a lot of slime spawned in the last layer at one point. But I haven't really been able to get that many ever since, probably because I was really close to the area, so not many are spawning at the moment, but yeah, the farm's working, I guess. Um, I'll, I'm also planning on, like, having some iron golems just chilling around over here to kill the extra slimes that spawn, and yeah, I'll have some sort of collection system for that, but I'll work on that later. Didn't really come up with a uh, plan for that yet. But let's kill these off. And yeah, anyways, slime farm's up and running. Just I, th just one more problem is I think I might have to go around and look for caves nearby because I'm hearing some mobs. So yeah, there might be caves nearby and I gotta light those places up so the farm works with full efficiency. But anyways... Uh, as you guys could see, I did uh, I actually did a pretty long AFK session, and let me cover this up. Yeah, I only ended up getting a few slime, or not a few slime, a few sugar cane. So I'm not really happy with the speed of this farm at this moment, because you know we gotta have the most efficient stuff. You know, this is homey craft. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna actually increase. Those sugarcane, the sugarcane farm towers, I'm going to increase them above the roof of the industrial district box thingy, <laughs> is what I'm calling them. So, yeah, I guess I should just get to work on that right now. I've gathered the materials that I need. So, yeah, let's get building. First things first, I want to remove this glass roof over here. So... I didn't do that. Alright, so now that I have broken the glass, let me start building another layer of this farm. First things first, I place this dirt, um, which is, which is going to have my sugarcane on it. But as you know, sugarcane needs to be hydrated to be planted. So on top of these observers right here, I place water, which I forgot <clears throat> to bring, so 
let me get it from here. So we get, we make an infinite source of water, like so, and place it down, and there you go. Now that the water is hydrated, you can place down your sugar cane. <laughs> I'm kind of doing this like it's a tutorial, but anyways, you can place down the sugar cane, and then you need another layer of blocks on top of the sugar cane. And on top of those, you place your pistons. Don't have to be sticky, just normal. <clears throat> and anyways, after that, um, you place some blocks behind the pistons, which are going to be used to kind of bud power the pistons. Actually, I don't know. this. Yeah, this wouldn't really be considered bud powering because we have redstone on top of it. But anyways, we put down observers facing the sugar cane and yeah so when this sugar cane grows um, three meters uh, let me go up over here anyways when the sugar cane goes grows three meters these observers detect it when they detect it as you guys I don't know yeah you guys can't really see that but if you heard that uh, some pistons just went off there, but anyways, so when they detect it, they send out a redstone output from the back. This redstone detects it, um, or I mean, what am I saying? This redstone gets the signal, sends it to this block, this block powers the pistons, the pistons extend, push down the sugar cane, down into that water stream I have, which goes into that hopper. Oh, I got some slime spawning down there which is why I need my iron golems up here, but yeah, anyways, let's, let me continue this process for a couple more layers, and yeah, then I think I'll be done with this farm. Alright, so for this time lapse, instead of having music, I want to talk a little bit about the future of the server. It's kind of going to be like a, a rant. Anyways, um, so we have been debating for a while on whether we should reset the server once 1.16 comes out. And eventually we settled to the idea that we will just make a second server where all the people that want to reset could go over to and all the people that want to stay gets to stay here. It's kind of going to be like season 1b and season 1a and then eventually they'll make season two later on honestly i mean i'm fine with that idea but that's kind of going to decrease the amount of players in each server in my opinion we should make the most out of one minecraft world before we reset and so i'm not against the idea of a reset but this server has only been running for like five to six months i think we should play on the server for at least six months uh, for, I mean for at least one year before we reset it so yeah um, don't get me wrong this is a great community it's probably the best SMP server I've played on so far but I think some players just need a little bit more dedication slash creativity so that the other players that actually have a lot of plans on what to do could play on the server without them without the other uh, non-dedicated players wanting a reset. Now, um, don't take this personal to any other people moving on to the other server. The Season 1B idea doesn't really neg negatively affect me in any way, so if they want to move on, they could go do that. I just hope it doesn't decrease the performance of the server since they're going to be running two servers at a time. But yeah, that's pretty much what's going to happen. I'll be staying on Season 1B. Or no, <laughs> Season 1A. Again, this is getting confusing. I'll be staying on Season 1A until Season 2 comes out. Which I'm pretty sure is going to be like after January 1st. I'm pretty sure they're going to be supporting Season 1A until January 1st. And then they'll provide a world download and then eventually reset it. 
So yeah, that's pretty much what's gonna happen. I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. I've got a lot of plans that I still want to do. So yeah, that's pretty much what I was gonna say. Now, back to the video. Yeah, I kinda multiplied the size of the farm by like at least 2.5. Um, I mean, I don't know if it was a great idea, cause, you know, all the boxes are just gonna be like, normal industrial districts, and then this one's just gonna have a, a huge tower just popping out the roof. But, whatever, I'm fine with it. Anyways, if we go around the back here, I didn't really do anything for the back, cause, you know, I didn't, I didn't feel like designing a whole new wall for this and I thought of just covering it up with stone bricks but honestly I think that would look too plain like the current state that it's at is, would probably look better than that since it's got a little bit of a design going on but yeah now I gotta build this on the other side both sides have been completed Except I think I see a hole in the glass right there. Wait, all right, it's up here. Let me try to place that. Where was it? Oh, I missed it. How am I gonna place that? Hold on. There we go. Did I do it? I think so. All right. Well, farm should work better now. Let me see if I actually got any slime drops while I was working on that. Stack. Dang. So that's like one, two, three, four, five. Let's just add one more stack from all the extras. That's like six stacks from here. And how much did I get from this? Let me just assume that's another six stacks. That's already 12 stacks. That's actually, that's actually good, I mean. Because I wasn't really here for too long. I just built these up. So, yeah. Also, when I get... When I add some golems here... Um... It'll work a little better. I'm not exactly sure how to do it yet. I'm thinking... I could, like... Break... A hole in this wall. And just insert the golem there. And then I'll have a little bit of magma right here. And yeah, that should do the trick. Maybe, I don't know. But, yeah, whatever. So, now that I've got a couple farms built up, I've noticed the past few episodes, like, I've been doing a lot of, like, base work and, like, serious progress. And, I mean, yeah, I do want to get, I do want progress. Like, I do want to get stuff done. But, I also want to implement some more chill and fun parts to my episodes where I just walk around and do whatever whatever I want but yeah right now on the server there isn't much stuff to do on the chill side you know there isn't really much to play around with so I was thinking of opening an amusement park and yeah I want to go find a plot of land to get that built up and yeah, I need to come up with a design for the entrance, so I'll go, I'll go do that real quick in my creative testing world. Okay, I got a design ready. Now, before I go find a plot of land, I want to explore the shopping district a little bit. Because I'm going to do some shopping and I want to see if there are any new shops. So first, let me get what I need. I'm gonna need some redstone lamps. So, let's take out our wallets. The shop is very cheap, by the way. It's like a stack of pistons for one diamond. Yes, it's a nice shop. It's a temporary shop. It's in the bone shop right now, but they're gonna make an uh, individual area for it later. But let me get uh, half a stack of redstone lamps. Anything else I might need here? I mean, I'm going to need some redstone blocks to power these, but I've already got plenty of those. So, yeah. The build that I'm going to do is going to need a lot of wool. Um, 
It's gonna need a lot of stone bricks. It's gonna need some redstone lamps, which I got. But yeah, that's pretty much the main blocks that are gonna be used. Anyways, um, yeah, I see a little some mini shops made by them. Um, doesn't look like the shops open. What's this? Just, just okay. Just a free shop with some junk in it that you can take if you need. All right. Um. Wait, did I actually make any sales? Um. Well, I mean, someone kind of changed the design up over here. I mean, they kind of changed it for the better, though. So I'll keep it like that. I already took the money I got from the prismarine. Oh, I got some, got some lamp sales. Nice. I'll take that money later. I don't, I don't want to take the money because it's just gonna make the box look empty. So after I restock, I'll take the money. But yeah, this is Jew Beast and King Drifter's little coral shop. Um, I've already been here. I was looking at this place last episode, and I think it's finished. They changed it a little since last episode, and wow. Yeah, <laughs> this place looks nice. Alright, I want to explore this. Wait, how far does this path go? <clears throat> I think it stops there. Alright, anyways, I want to explore this shop. It looks nice. Coming soon. Oh, it's not completely finished yet, I think. Hello, villager. Got some chocolate on your desk. Also, it's going to have emeralds for sale. Nice. What else? Yeah, I don't think it's done yet. They just got random materials lying around. What's this? Yeah, I think they're going to be selling redstone here. Yeah, I can tell. This shop's going to look great when it's done. It's got like a bunch of little stands in it. This is iron products. Yeah, I'll be here sometimes but yeah this place looks really good let's go up here to the second floor um oh they'll be selling books that's nice leather is uh hard to get resource yeah that's nice let's go to the rooftop lounging area Can't wait for this place to open. It looks like it's gonna be good. They got a little, a little bar over here. No drinks yet. But yeah, this place is <laughs> it's nice. It's got a nice little view. Yeah, I like it. Pretty cool. I wonder if this shop's done. I'm not going in it because you guys know what happened last time. But yeah, it still seems to be closed. This is actually my first shop, and apparently I made two diamonds from it. Great. Um, Alright, without... I think that's pretty much everything new in the shopping district. Well, I mean, actually, there's the Supreme Shopping District where you have to buy a plot, but... Nothing much has been going on there, I think. Actually, wait, is this new? The building block? Oh, wait, no. It's not new, but I think they updated it a little. Uh, yeah, this shop, this area is, a lot of the people here don't really play on the server anymore. Oh yeah, there's this, this is new. Drifters out of this good, out of this world goods. Nice. I like that floor design. Oh, armor. One emerald block or diamond. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I might, I might buy from here. Ender chest, eight diamonds for one. Um, I mean, seems a bit expensive, but no, actually, no. It's probably that I'm cheap. It's not. It's probably not expensive. I'm just a very cheap person. What's this? Fifteen diamonds for one. I think it's sold out. Oh yeah, I think those were the elytras. Maybe dragon's breath. Wait, there's dragon's breath potions. What? Collect dragon's breath in a glass bottle. 
That's cool. Two diamonds for 16. I might just get it as a souvenir because, you know, I'm rich, so I can buy whatever I want. Let me put it in my wallet for now. And he shells, or he sells shulker boxes. All right. Yeah, I think that's it for the shopping district. I never actually showed you guys this shop. It's got a bunch of, uh, it's got a variety of resources. I buy a lot of rockets from here because my mob farm is not working very well for some reason. But, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to go looking around for a decent area to start building this amusement park. I think I have found a good area of land for this amusement park. Um... It's also pretty close to spawn. I was looking for, I didn't want the place to be too far away from spawn so people could easily go to it. But yeah, this place is relatively flat. So I think it'll be a nice place for us to build this air, uh, amusement park because it'll be easier to flatten out. But yeah, I'm thinking of having a sign either on this hill or the hills back there that says the amusement park's name on it and then right over here I want to build up the entrance and yeah I'll probably have like a nether portal linked up around here um, but yeah let me get to work on that first I need to get the materials though Okay, I think I have all the materials that I'm going to need in this shulker box. Now, <clears throat> I'll probably do this building session and progress updates rather than a time lapse. Because, you know, I don't want there to be an overload of time lapses. So, yeah. I'll be flattening this place out. And I'll build the entrance. And I got Turkish Delight here to help me. So, yeah. Progress update. I've got the little archway shape complete. Um, and I got these two side stands done. I just got to build the middle one. And add a few more details like slabs underneath here. And cobblestone walls going around the top. Or not cobblestone walls. Stone brick walls going around the top. And I'll probably have like a little wall around here. Going out the sides, but yeah, after that, I think I'll be finished. I think it's finished after I finish placing these carpets. This build actually took uh, less time than I was expecting, which is rare in Minecraft. Usually stuff take longer than expected. This took l less, but yeah, this is the final product. Um... I mean, there are still a few things I don't like about it, like these roofs that I built up here. Um, yeah, I don't really like them very much, like especially this little part right here. It's so random. I don't, I don't know if I should extend that. But yeah, I'll, I'll try to fix this place up a little bit more later on. But yeah, it's pretty much done. Oh yeah, it's also missing villagers. I gotta put like signs up here with the price to go in. And I gotta capture some villagers as my workers to be inside of these places right here. But yeah, I mean, it looks pretty decent. I guess I could start building the sign now, except I need to find a place for that. Because I'm not really sure if I want to like build it in the sky or on one of these hills. So yeah, I'll scout around the place a little to see where I want to build it. And then I'll get started with that. I ended up just building the sign on this mountain over here. Um, I mean, it's pretty decent. The only issue is I was planning... I th like, I didn't do any calculations, so I thought the homey part of the sign would be a lot longer. So, 
Yeah, I made I made the bottom part stick out a lot because I built this bottom first, and yeah, it kind of ended up being a little bit too far to the right. But yeah, it's fine. I don't feel like taking it all down just for that little fix. And I gotta add string here, of course. But yeah, other than that, um. Before I open this to the public, the main thing I want to do is uh, decorate this nether portal a little bit. I already have a design ready. So yeah, I'll do that. And I kind of want to get either villagers or armor stands in here. Um, as my workers, which I already said. And um, I want like a little board right over here which will contain a before and after picture of the amusement park before people start building on it and after. Oh yeah, I also have to make some paths around here so people can walk around and then um, people that want to build their rides could build it along the sides of the paths. But yeah, let me start decorating the portal. I actually already did the other side a little bit. Let's go over there. On this side, I did a little rainbow glass line thingy just to make just to give a little happy mood and yeah I kind of spammed the signs around I got signs over here I got signs over here on the to your left and if I go to the end of this tunnel I got two signs right here and uh, lights to grab your attention but uh, they also have to add glowstone up here but other than that, I don't know if I'm going to add much more to this side of the tunnel. So, I'm going to start decorating the other side real quick. I just noticed something. Why did I build the entrance all the way to the left side when the park is gonna stretch out all the way down here? I should have built it like somewhere around here, which would be more centered. But whatever, continue with the time lapse. Okay guys, um, I think I'm finished with this, let me just load it up with some fireworks, nice, so whenever someone comes in here, they get a nice welcoming entrance, but yeah, this is um, pretty much the final product, I mean, I might add a little to it later on, like, I don't know, I'm thinking of like, combining these little gaps and all. I added a little fog effect down here. But yeah, I think this place is ready to be open to the public. So I'll post pictures of this on Discord and
people can come over here and build their rides along this path that I made. Yeah, this might be temporary. It's just a quick little thing I made with the path blocks. But yeah, I'll definitely extend this and um, maybe make a better design for the path. I'll also flatten the land out a little more. But yeah, this place is pretty much ready to open. It's looking good. I can't wait to see what people come up with. But before I end off today's video, I want to uh, quickly talk about the 1.16 update. Because today, yeah, today is June 23rd, so 1.16 comes out today. But um, our server uses something called Spigot. Now, I'm not really sure what it is, I just know it helps run the server, but yeah, before we um, reset the nether to be um, updated to with the 1.16 update thingy, before we reset that, um, we have to wait for the 1.16 of 1.16 version of the spigot thingy to come out, so yeah, we won't update to like, I think they said July 1st. Some, um, sometime around then but yeah so either this next episode or the episode or after that or maybe if it gets really delayed the episode after that um, I will be playing in the 1.16 update which I'm excited for um, so yeah you guys could look forward to that I'm definitely looking forward to I already have some plans on what to do in the nether once 1.16 comes out but yeah also over here I added a little before and after picture like this is the before picture of this area right now we just have this and after we like build a bunch of rides around here I'll update these maps to sh oops, didn't mean to do that, oops, whatever, let me just throw that, <laughs> let me just throw that away, anyways, I'll update, actually, let me keep that, I want to see what the nether portal looks like, oh, it didn't even get the nether portal, never mind, anyways, uh, after we're done with this area, I will update those maps to show the completed products, and yeah, I definitely have to patch this place up. I'll be doing some off-camera maintenance work, like um, a little bit of terraining, flattening this place out, maybe getting some wither skulls for my uh, wither or for my beacon shop, and I also want to do a little more AFK and get my wither rose farm because I ha really haven't been there much actually after I built it, and I got to do as much AFKing there as I can before they reset the end, cause. Um, if you guys didn't watch the video where I made that farm, I was talking about how they reset the end, like, once a month, so that, um, the end cities can update, because we have some elytra shops, so a lot of the end cities get raided, and if we don't reset the end, it'll be really hard for newer players to get elytras for the first time. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to get a bunch of wither roses from there before the farm goes away. But anyways, I'm going to end the video off here. Thank you guys all for watching. And I'll see you in the next Homecraft episode. Peace. <laughs>